bless your holy name. We magnify your holy name. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are the ancient of them. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. What a mighty God we serve. What a glorious God we are. You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises going on. You are the one that walks in God. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, King of Peace. Thank you, Lord of Lord. Thank you, ancient of it. Who is like all unto you? No God like you. No power like you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, Father. We give you all glory. We give you all honor. We give you all adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Do what only you can do. Do what only you can do. Perform the miraculous here today. Perform the miraculous here today. Let your name be glorified. Let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of kings. Thank you, Lord of lords. Thank you, ancient of days. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. I welcome you to the Oracle of God International Ministry Prayer Conference. And we're going to pray some serious prayers. And tonight we'll go to part two of the series Eliminating Poverty. Eliminating Poverty. And our working scripture is Mark chapter 11, verse 1 to 23 or 24. Mark 11, 1 to 24. You should read that on your own. Let's quickly review what we learned last night before we go into the lessons to learn from Mark chapter 11. Then tonight at the 10 o'clock hour, we are going to go to part two of the message. And for those that are joining for the first time, this prayer line holds 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Once a month, we do our monthly three days fasting. But with the situation in the world, in the month of June, we are going to do seven days fasting. From 1st to 7th, I will be on the prayer conference, by the grace of God, 6 a.m., 12 noon, 6 p.m., and 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The first day of the fast, we'll do washing of feet. The fourth day, we'll do anointing. And on the last day, on Sunday evening, we'll do the communion. The first, the fourth, and the seventh. So there is a little change for the month of June. There's a reason that the Lord wants us to do that. Usually we do six, uh, three days fasting, but this time the Lord wants us to do seven days. And the Lord will give us the grace to fast. If you are sick, consult your physician, your doctor, before you go into a fast. But I believe God will heal you. And make sure you fast. Even if it's for four hours or three hours, make sure you fast. Uh, most importantly, when you fast, make sure you pray. And the Lord will give you the grace to overcome in Jesus' name. Today we are going to be praying to break all limitations. But our series is actually eliminating poverty. So we are going to review what we learned last night. 
we learn that there are six essential laws that are necessary for rebuilding a society or a culture. The first one is personal initiative. The second one is healthy family. The third one is effective churches. Number four, private property. Number five, problem solving integrity. Number six, level of revenue. And we began to look at the seven level of revenue. Number one, wisdom. And there are seven levels of wisdom. We'll deal with that some other time. Number two, vision. And there are also seven levels of wisdom. And vision. Seven levels of vision. Number three, information or knowledge. Information. If you are not informed, you are deformed. Number four, a good name. A good name is better than money. Proverbs 22, verse 1. If somebody deal with you today and you disappoint him, you know that 100 people will not deal with you again. If you are in business, if you please one person, the chances is that he will tell only one person or two that you are good. But if you disappoint one person, he will tell 100 people that you are bad. That is human nature. A good name is better than money. You may be planning to do business with somebody, and you are still praying about it, and somebody comes to tell you you don't want to waste your money dealing with that guy. You find yourself stop praying and make up your mind. You, nobody wants to take extra risk. Doing business is risky enough. Then the fourth level of revenue is relationship. You need quality relationship. If all your friends are broke, no matter how rich you are, you'll be broke. You can never be rich having poor friends. Nothing bad in helping them. But you need, to, need, you need people who can help you. Number seven, or number six, property. From today, you begin to plan how to invest in properties after paying your debt. Don't go and invest in anything when you are in debt. Because the profit or the interest you will get from your investment will not be able to catch up with the interest you are paying on your credit, especially credit card. Then the last one is money. There is no honey without money. <laughs> Many of the marriages that is crashing is because of money. Many are sick because they cannot buy their medication. So money is very important. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But today, our assignment as the Lord led into my last night, we are to pray to disgrace the power of limitation in our lives. Destroying the power of limitation in our lives. Please, don't say you are watching on Facebook, Periscope, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube that you will not pray. Please pray very well. And as you pray, the result will be worth the while. The outcome of the prayers will cause celebration in your life. But first of all, we are going to look at the lessons from the gospel according to Mark chapter 11, 1 to 10. Mark 11, 1 to 10. And as we are digging into it, we are going to be praying some deliverance prayer. I intentionally put this in because the teaching I'm teaching from Mark 11 is actually apostolic and kingdom. But we are going to go into prophetic and deliverance in today's prayer and ministration. Mark chapter 11 verse 1 to 10 is a very popular scripture. Jesus sent his disciples up front, ahead. He said, as you enter, you will find a donkey tied at a junction. 
which no man has ever ridden on. He said, lose it and bring it. If anyone asks you why you are losing the call, tell them the Lord has need for it. Your deliverance will not be complete. will be delayed until you have made up your mind to become useful in the house of the Lord. And so they went. They lost the donkey, brought it to Jesus. Jesus rode the donkey to Jerusalem as the celebration began. I come to decree your own celebration shall begin today in the name of Jesus. Shall begin today in the name of Jesus. People strew their clothes together, lay them on the ground, on the road for the court to ride on. Others cut down trees. That is the reason of Palm Sunday. And they were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. This short passage as it is, is loaded with a lot of deep revelation and deep messages relating prophecy and deliverance. We are going to learn certain things today. And we are going to pray accordingly. And this lesson will lead us to the kind of prayers we are going to pray. I hope you will be ready to pray. And I hope you will not just wait to say amen. You will pray the prayers. Because that is where your testimony will come from. The first lesson we can learn from Mark chapter 11, 1 to 10 is that your present situation does not determine your future. I will repeat that. No matter what you are going through now, no matter how overwhelmed, that you are homeless now, that you are jobless now, that you are single now, that you are poor now, it's not, it does not determine your future. What God has written about you must remain, must come to pass. No one knew that this donkey, no one knew this donkey from anywhere. Nobody has previously ridden on this donkey. The donkey was tied down somewhere in an unknown place. Here was a donkey that is destined to carry the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. A donkey that is destined to carry the king of glory. But it was tied down somewhere in an obscure village doing nothing. The donkey did not know that a day will come where everybody will be reading about him like we are doing now today. All the other donkeys that were moving around carrying stuff, nobody is reading about them today. Nobody is reading about you today. Nobody is talking about you today. You look like you are tied down somewhere. But there is something written about you. By God, by heaven. Jesus Christ said, The Son of Man goeth as it is written concerning him. The donkey did not know that he would be in the book of life. The fact that the donkey was tied down did not determine his future. So your present situation will not determine or dictate your future. That is lesson number one. No matter what the devil throws at you today, no matter what he has been throwing at you, no matter what he has thrown at you before, it does not determine and dictate your future. It got nothing to do with your future. It got nothing to do with God, what God has written for you. And I come to declare to somebody here today that the power that are pressing your head down, that don't want you and your loved one to rise, those powers, they shall lose their head in the name of Jesus. 
They shall lose their head. 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 Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Be delivered. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Beloved, please pray very well today. Because you people are not praying loud enough. The second lesson we can learn from Mark chapter 11, verse 1 to 10, is that your present crisis, the crisis of sickness, crisis of your children, or your grandchildren, Financial crisis, health crisis, business crisis, educational crisis. The crisis you have been dealing with up to this moment, the one you are dealing with now, does not mean your future is hopeless. Because God is the help of the helpless and the hope of the hopeless. A lot of people are going through terrible situations now. In their marriages, in their finances, in their job, business, education, health, their career. And this situation caused people to almost lose their mind. Some are now suicidal. They don't even know what the future holds for them and their loved ones. I come to decree and declare as the oracle of God to you and your children, your family this day, that your present situation does not mean that your future is hopeless in the name of Jesus. Just like the donkey that was tied down, he could not go anywhere. He could not go where he wants to be. That was bondage. That was captivity. People were sitting down, making sure nobody loses it. Jesus Christ said, if anyone tells you why lose this donkey, Tell them the Lord is in need of it. But the present bondage of the donkey did not make his future hopeless. I speak to your spirit man today. You are coming out of every bondage and captivity of hopelessness. In thy name of Jesus. In thy name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Third lesson we can learn from this scripture. The third lesson is that the ugly situation confronting you now does not say all about your future and your destiny. Your present situation does not say everything about your destiny and your future. The passage is saying whatever crisis you are passing through now, it's just a comma, not a full stop. It's just a comma, not a period. Your issue now is just a pause, not a stop. And very soon, the master of all situations shall come to your rescue, shall come to your aid and rescue you. The psalmist say, my help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Jesus sent two of his disciples to rescue the destiny of the donkey. I want you to pray this prayer very, very well. Say, Lord Jesus, sent two angels to rescue my destiny. It was two angels that went to open the tomb of Jesus Christ. Take away the stone. I want you to call the name of Jesus Christ and pray that prayer. Father, send two powerful angels to rescue my destiny, to rescue my family, to rescue my ministry, my education, my children, my father, my mother, my sister. Open your mouth and pray. Send two archangels to rescue my destiny. You are not praying. You are not praying. Mashagadoli bogodolia. Ye katoli broze zutalia. Makunda la bagados, yeri bazi antoli bashegele. Makatoli bagadolia, 
Father, send your angels to rescue us, to deliver us, to rescue our destiny, our future. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Rabba Shagadolia, Eliba Zegede, Makutalaba, Nayabagadolia. Yiva Shigadolia, Eliva Shigadolia, rescue us, O Lord, from poverty, rescue us from failure, rescue us from singleness, rescue us from singleness, from barrenness, from sickness, from loneliness, from joblessness, visalessness. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, rescue us, O Lord, rescue us from sickness and diseases, rescue us from business failure, rescue us, O Lord. In thy name of Jesus, Rebo Shataliba, Makanda Labagado, Eliba Zagadolia, Eliba Zagadolia, Eliba Gadolia. Father, rescue us, O Lord. Rescue our children. Rescue our spouse. Rescue our siblings. In thy name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Eba Shagadolia. Mashigadolia. Mashigadolia. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. I need deliverance. Send your angels to deliver me. To deliver my children. My spouse. My sibling. You are not praying hard enough. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Father, deliver me. 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 Father, deliver your children. Deliver my spouse, my sibling from barrenness. Deliver me from singleness. Deliver me from stagnancy. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver us. Deliver us. Deliver us. Deliver us. In the name of Jesus. Makata la braga zokotolia. Yeba shagadoli bragadolia. Masigadoli brandolia. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Uh -huh. That was good. That was good. That was good. Lesson number four is that the chain of your present harassment, the chain of your embarrassment, that source of reproach and embarrassment and shame does not mean there is no hope for your future. The chain that ties the donkey down at the road junction did not stop the donkey from fulfilling his destiny. The chain of embarrassment did not dictate the future of the donkey. I am praying for somebody that is saying amen now. Whatsoever stage you are now, whatsoever step you are now, will be a stepping stone to your promotion in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare upon your lives, the life of your loved ones, those who are laughing at you now, they shall witness your testimony and begin to laugh with you. Those that rejected you will begin to celebrate you. You will be celebrated as you celebrate in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I come to decree as the oracle of God, your test will become a testimony. Your trial and tribulation will become triumph. Your breakdown will become breakthrough. That your setback will become a setup for a comeback in the name of Jesus. People shall witness your testimony. Your testimony will bring people to God in the presence of your enemy. Psalm 23 verse 5. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. This is your portion. The Lord will prepare a table of breakthrough, of testimony in the presence of your enemy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you receive that shout, hallelujah. The Bible says there were people standing by, standing by the donkey to make sure it was never delivered. They were saying, over my dead body, this donkey will not fulfill purpose. Over my dead body, you will never get married. Over my dead body, you will remain poor. Over my dead body, you will be jobless. You will have your visa. You will have children. Stand by enemy. To make sure that this donkey don't get deliverance. But when Jesus rode the donkey, the same people who were standing by to make sure that this donkey is not released, they were the same people celebrating the donkey, taking off their clothes, putting it on the floor for the donkey to walk on. I declare, I decree and declare, those who are standing by to mock you, 
they shall rejoice with you soon in the name of Jesus. It was like the case of blind Batman. The same people that are giving him money. He said of them to say, okay, let us, let us call Jesus Christ so that Jesus Christ will now heal him. We won't be giving him money. They say, no, shut up. Don't go for his deliverance. They shut him down. They say, stop calling for help. I am praying for you. Any power anywhere that is blocking your way of breakthrough, they shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Number five. Lesson number five from Mark chapter 11, verse 1 to 10. A lot of people are actually destined for greatness. But we are limited in where we are now presently. This donkey was anointed and destined to fulfill purpose, to carry the king of kings and the lord of lords. But it was tied down. Many of us are presently operating under limitation like the donkey. Many are just suffering and smiling and surviving. You hear them say, all is well. All is well is not a good thing. They say it is survival of the fittest. I say to you tonight, I say to you today, no more survivor, but you will experience the Lord's revival in every aspect of your life in the name of Jesus. You have struggled for too long, but today the Lord is taking you out of the struggle. He's taking the struggle out of your life. You have struggled for everything you have, but the Lord is taking the struggle out of your blessing in the name of Jesus. You have been placed in categories. But I come to decategorize you in the name of Jesus. You have been limited for too long. The Lord sent me to you to come and decree your delimitation in the name of Jesus. You will no longer be limited in the name of Jesus. Beloved, if you see, if you have a glimpse of the greatness that God prepared for you, most of us are supposed to be great. If you even consider the kind of dream you are dreaming, you will know that there is greatness in your life. But presently you are limited. If God will open your eyes to see what you ought to be, when I say pray for one hour, you will pray for three hours. I tell you it is possible for you to be dreaming dreams of great heights to which the almighty God is calling you. See yourself eating with presidents and kings, hanging out with millionaires. But in your real life, is suffering and chains and shackles of hindrance you are experiencing. What I am trying to tell you today is that the final verdict of your future does not lie or depend on the chains or hindrances and limitations you are experiencing right now. But your future lies in the hands of the Lord Jesus Christ. What I'm saying here this morning is this. That he who planned greatness for you is stronger than the chains placed upon you. For the chains shall be broken today in the name of Jesus. He who planned greatness for you is greater than those that put the chains upon you. And the Lord shall disgrace them in the name of Jesus. He who planned greatness for you is stronger than the strong man, that which is a wizard. He is stronger than all those witches and witch doctors and voodoo and hoodoo. Praise that all those standing by and say, let us see how she will get married. Let us see how she will break that chain off. Let us see how she will have children. Let us see how she will pass. Let us see how the children will prosper. I tell you this today. My God is bigger than them. I want you to pray. Every chain of limitation in my life, in the life of my children, I command you break in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and break the chain of limitation. Open your mouth and pray, my father, my father. Send your angels to break the chain of limitation, the chain of failure, 
be broken in the name of Jesus. The chain of sickness be broken in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. You are not praying, you are not praying. That chain of failure, I break you in the name of Jesus. Break the chain, break the chain. The chain of fear, the chain of frustration, of hopelessness, of joblessness, of visalessness. Let the chain be broken. Let the chain be broken. Let the chain be broken. 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 Chain of infirmity. I break you. It's my one not like fire. It's my one not a hammer that break the chain in pieces. Raku Taliban. You have a shagado. Reke Taliba. I break all the chain. I break 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 every chain. I break every chain. I break the chain of stagnancy. I break the chain of singleness, of barrenness, of loneliness. The chain be broken. 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 I break the chain. I break the chain. I break the chain. Ye Katolia, Mashagado, Reku Taliba. Every chain of delay, chain of stagnancy, chain of failure. Break, 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 break it, break it. Lose your hold. Break and lose, 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 break and lose. Open your mouth and pray. That is why Jesus brought you here. That is why Jesus connected you. Pray, 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 pray. Break it, break it, break it. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Mashagadolia. Yekura bagazegedia. Mashigadoli bragadolia. Reba zi and toli bagadolia. Reba zeke toli bragadolia. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The sixth lesson we can learn from the book of Mark 11, 1 to 10. The lesson number six is that you must know also that freedom that is limited is not freedom. You are in America, you don't have paper for 10 years, 20 years. It's freedom that is not complete. The donkey was free to move around. But it was not free to go everywhere and anywhere he wants. But his freedom is limited to the length of the rope, tying it down. It can only travel the distance of the circumference of the rope around the tree. It can only travel the distance to which the rope on his neck will allow. You are walking, you don't have visa, you can only travel to your workplace and come back. Go to Walmart and come back. But you cannot travel home, you cannot take a vacation and travel to another place. I pray for you tonight. I pray for you today. Whatsoever rope, invisible rope, that is in any area of your life, limiting you, shall be broken and cut off today by the sword of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus said, if the Son set you free, you are free indeed. Many of us are where we are today because of some demonic powers claiming ownership on our lives in the realm of the spirit like the donkey, saying, let me see who will come and release this person. Let me see the prophet and the, pro the prophetess that will come and speak deliverance. There are people that are supposed to be doing very great, doing great things, but there are powers tying them down to one spot. You have prayed all the prayers. You have given your tithes. You have given offerings. So seed, not in church. Clean the church. Walk in the church. The more you try, the more things are worse. But today, every power tying you down to one spot shall be buried alive in the name of Jesus. Shall be buried alive in the name of Jesus. Shall be buried alive in the name of Jesus. And the beautiful thing is this. The beautiful thing is this. God has an agenda set, an agenda to set you free. He has a date to set you free. He has an agenda to deliver you from captivity and bondage. So today, in this deliverance prayers, as you pray, 
you need to be expectant and lose your temper on the enemy. Many of us don't like the lives we are living. We don't like what's going on in our lives. But we are not mad and crazy enough with our situation yet. We are still able to manage the situation. We still have unemployment coming in. We know how to manage the medication. Even if you don't have the money to buy the medication, you know how to break it in two. Instead of taking two tablets, you take one and you are surviving. We have gotten used to it. We have become managers of problems, managers of sickness, managers of failure, managers of death. We are even comfortable and tolerant of our situation. But when you get mad in your spirit with your situation, things will begin to change. I am praying for somebody here. All the scattering horn of your father's house, all the scattering horn of your mother's house, that does not want to lift your head up. They don't want you to arise and shine. They shall scatter and catch fire in the name of Jesus. I say they shall catch fire. They shall scatter. They shall catch fire. They shall scatter. They shall catch fire in the name of Jesus. Marafat, I want you to pray this prayer. The Bible said in the book of Zechariah, he said, these are the horns that scattered Judah, that they cannot raise their head. You are trying hard to gather things. The enemy is scattering it. You are gathering money. The enemy is scattering it. You are gathering your children. You are gathering your family, gathering the business. The wicked horns of your father's house, the wicked horns of your mother's house, the one from your in-law house, they are scattering it. Say, every scattering horn of my father's house, every scattering horn of my mother's house, the one in my humorous place, household wickedness, horn of the wicked, in my workplace, scattering my wealth, scattering my destiny, be Open your mouth and cut off the horns of the wicked. Catch fire. Open your mouth and pray. Let them catch fire. Let them catch fire. Every horn of the wicked scattering your destiny. Let them catch fire. Be scattered. No desolation. Catch fire. 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 Lekatolia. Mashigado. Rebo Shagado. Yaba Shantolia. Masikatolia. Riba Gadolia. Riba Gadolia. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I say you will lose your temper on the enemy this morning. But when I say lose your temper on the enemy, who then is the enemy? Many of us don't understand when we are praying the prayers we are praying. The enemy is any power, any spirit, any force, any personality, any principality, human being or spirit being, working against the fulfillment of your destiny. That is the enemy. The enemy is any power frustrating the assignment of God for your life. You are obeying God. Pay your tithe. Do what you have to do. You are praying. You are fasting. But there is the enemy saying that today is Sabbath day. You cannot get your breakthrough. The enemy is the one that wants to postpone your day of deliverance. That wants to postpone your day of marriage and breakthrough. That is the enemy. The enemy is any power that hates your desire to produce increase. The enemy is any power that is unhappy over your progress, your success. Anytime you want to make any move, any progress, any success, promotion, if they hear the testimony, they are sad. Those are the enemy. The enemy is any power strengthening those things that God wants to remove in your life so that you can get your breakthrough. The enemy is also any power increasing your doubt, killing your faith, encouraging you to disobey God. Those are the enemy. Who then is the enemy? The enemy is any power of evil foundation laid down by our ancestors. The enemy is any power preparing snares to cage you. Cage your destiny, cage your children. The enemy is domestic opposition, household opposition, workplace wickedness. 
Joseph's brother said, let us kill him and see what will become of his dream. Every single thing written in the Bible is important. In Acts 23, verse 12 to 15, Acts chapter 23, verses 12 to 15, 40 elders, Jews, Jewish people, gathered together against Paul, their own brother, and said, they enter into a hole. Oats, and they said they will neither eat or drink until they kill Paul. They are not fasting and praying to get money. They are not fasting and praying for them to get married. They are not fasting and praying to be healed. They are not fasting and praying to get a breakthrough. They are fasting and praying for somebody to die. I want you to pray this prayer. Any power, anywhere. Praying satanic prayer. Sitting in strength position. Facing the east. Praying against my life. Praying for me to die. Every psychic power, witchcraft power, praying against me. Praying the spirit of death upon my life. Let that power die. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Any power praying satanic prayer against my life. Any power praying for me to die. They say they are fasting and praying for you to die. Let that power die. Let that power die. Let that power die. Open your mouth and declare. Mashagadoli, brasa zagadoli, bagadoli. Yes, any power that want to kill good things in your life. People that are praying and fasting, going to do rituals. Let them die, let them die, let them die. They must die. Open your mouth and pray. You are not violent enough. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. So also Samson was bound and handed, bundled and handed over to the enemy, the Philistine, by his own fellow countrymen. So also Micah, David's wife, and King Saul, the founder-in-law of David, we are against him. Household wickedness. That is how Cain killed his brother Abel out of jealousy. Who then is the enemy we are going to pray against today? The enemy is Satan the devil and his agent. Our internal enemy. So we have to lose our spiritual temper against the enemy. So that the limitation in your life will be broken. Beloved, listen to me very carefully. This is not a radio station. It's not television. We are here to pray until something happens. This, the principle of spiritual warfare is very straightforward and it's clear. It's not confusing. You have to stop them before they stop you. If you don't stop them, they will stop you. You have to deal with them. A lot of people will have done better in life. If not for the scattering horns that scatters and put them together. Scatter and put them together. Scatter and put them together. You fast and pray to get one breakthrough. They go and fast and pray and destroy the breakthrough. The Bible says these are the horns that scatter Judah. So that Judah cannot lift his head. So the demonic department of satanic kingdom of darkness that is responsible for limiting people's life, limiting people's destiny, is this scattering horn department. Horn represents power. Horn represents government. Study the book of Daniel and Revelation and the book of Zechariah. You have more insight. When the demonic horn department is assigned against you, it is a serious issue indeed. God wants to bless you. He has even blessed you, but the agenda of the wicked is to scatter you. He has an agenda for you. That is why he brought you here today. So what do, what do we do today to break free from all this demonic nonsense? All these demonic issues in our life. So that we can be delivered of all the oppression of the devil. That the enemy is bringing our way. This is what to do. Give your life to Jesus. He's the stronger man. 
No one is stronger than him. Give your life to Jesus. You are fought by yourself alone. Your power could not get you any result. Surrender to him. If you are fighting Tyson, you refuse to surrender or Mayflower, he will punch you to death. But immediately you raise up your hand, that is the end. The referee will come in. Jesus is the referee. He's your advocate. Repent of all known sin. You need holy anger. Don't be angry with your bank account. Be angry with the devil. Don't be angry with your spouse. Be angry with the devil. Stop the ice cream prayer as you are praying. Pray better prayer, hot prayer. You need holy desperation. Stop praying. Pray prayer born. When you become desperate, your progress begins. When Anna became desperate in her prayer, her miracles came. Anna has been praying for years, like you, without result, for a very long time. She was praying ice cream prayer. She was praying summer prayer, praying and fanning herself, waiting for the pastor to say in Jesus' name that she will say amen. She was fanning herself with the church bulletin. But when she became desperate, she said, Oh Lord, if you will indeed give me a son, I will give it back to you. I will not even carry the baby around. No razor will touch his head. I will give him to you, Lord. Then God said, okay, now you are ready. You can have it. And that song that God gave to her is Prophet Samuel. We are still talking about today. But the names of the children of Penina, the second wife, nobody knows. Finally, you must have violent faith to deal with the forces that wants to limit your life. I pray for somebody here. Every power attempting to scatter you shall be scattered in the name of Jesus. So if you are not born again, you are here. Before going to prayers, you need to surrender yourself. If you say you are born again and you know you are committing sin, because nobody is ignorant of, say, I don't know I'm committing sin, especially Christians. When they are committing sin, they know. Don't you know if you don't pay your tithes? Or somebody have to prophesy that you are not paying your tithe. Or somebody have to prophesy and say you are lying. Don't you know that you are committing sin? Go ahead and talk to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you today. Forgive me. Wash me clean with your blood. Come into my life. Take absolute control of my life. Forgive all my sins. Cleanse me with your blood. Have mercy upon me. Grant me the joy of salvation. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now you have five minutes to pray. It is your time to pray. The kind of prayers we will pray now are not ordinary prayers. They are not prayer arrows. They are prayer bombs. Because of time, there are not too much prayers. We'll pray the rest tonight. Mashigadoliva. Makatoli Bagadolia. Every power present down my head. Your time is up. Lose your own head in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Call the name of Jesus Christ and pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every power pressing down my head. The head of my spouse, my sibling, my wife, my children, my nieces, my destiny. Any power anywhere pressing down my head. I command you, lose your own head. Like Goliath, lose your head. Lose your head. Lose your head. You are not praying. Lose your head. Open your mouth and pray. Let them lose their head. Any power pressing down your head. I command you, lose your head. Lose your head. Lose your own head. Like Goliath. Lose your head. Open your mouth and pray. Mashagadoli bagadolia. Makunda li bagazagadolia. Makatoli brogodolia. Yiga zigadoli bagadolia. Makarabaza zagadol. Yekura bagazigadolia. Mashigadala bagadolia. 
Lose your head. Lose your head. Any power of limitation, I command you, in the order of Goliath, lose your head. Lose your head. Lose your head. Any power pressing down my finances, lose your head. 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 Lord, your head. Lose your head. Mashagado. Makunda Liba. Yeba Shagado. Reba Shigado. Mashagadolia, Yeba Shagadolia. The power of God is here. 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 Ma Yigadolia, let that power lose your head. Lose your head. Hear the word of the Lord. Lose your head. Your time is up. Lose your head. Lose your head. Ma Shagado, Ma Shagado, Ma Shagado, Rekutalia, Ma Katolia, Ma Shigadolia. He of a Sagadolia, he of a Sagadolia, he of a Sagadolia, Masigadolia, 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 Macatolia, he of a Sigadi, Rebo Sigadalia, Eli Bagadolia, Eli Bagadolia, Eli Bagadolia, Masigadala, Egadolia, stay on that prayer, any power pressing down my head, limiting me. Your time is up. Hear the word of the Lord. Die now. Lose your head. Die. 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 Lose your head. You are not praying. You are not praying. You are not praying. Lose your head. Die. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We are making progress. The power of God is going to fall on somebody now. And your organs that are presently in witchcraft coven, in wizard cauldron, and it is as if your body does not belong to you. But right there where you are, the power of God is falling upon you now. And the yoke is broken in the name of Jesus. The yoke is broken in the name of Jesus. The yoke is broken in the name of Jesus. The yoke is broken in the name of Jesus. Father, I am praying for 21 people here who have ladder of darkness in their bodies. Who have cobweb spirit covering their destiny. That the enemy has used dark blankets to cover their glory. As a result of this ladder, the enemy is just doing whatever they like in their life. Father, I am praying. Let the ladder of darkness from the marine kingdom, the ladder of darkness from the forest, from the rock spirit, from familiar and monitoring spirit, from charms and fetish attack. I command those ladder, dismantle now in the name of Jesus. Let the ladder be dismantled. Let the cobweb and the dark blanket catch fire in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Every strong man and strong woman pressing down your head by the firepower of the Holy Ghost, by the liquid sword of the Lord, I cut off their heads in the name of Jesus. Yes. You, the spirit of infirmity, you can't continue to torment that one. I bind and cast you out in the name of Jesus. Yes. That pain like object scratching your body, itching your body, tormenting you. The evil arrow is gone back to sender now in the name of Jesus. It's gone back to sender. There shall be a backfire now in the name of Jesus. There are 35 people here. That witchcraft arrow we have fired onto your life in the dream. The arrows are coming out now. They are coming out. They are coming out. The witchcraft arrow. They are coming out. 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 Come out. Come out from the womb. Come out from the head. From the neck. From the left shoulder. From the left hand. From the leg. The paralysis. The stroke. The one on the right leg. Makutaliba. Come out. Receive.
you are going to pray the next prayer. As you pray the next prayer, pray it very well. If you pray it well, it will be your last prayer point. If you don't pray it very well, they will take some more prayers. You say, you that enemy that is using my children against me. I'd like you to pray this prayer like a madman, a mad woman from another planet. Do not negotiate with the enemy. This is not a day for negotiation. This is not a negotiating prayer. Say arrows fired into my staff. Put your mouth and pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus, every arrow fired into my children, fired into your sender. Mashagadolia, yabagadolia, 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 yabagadolia. Mashigadolia, 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 makandolia. Yabash, yes. Fired into your star, into my star, into your spouse, into your stars, of your loved ones. The wickedness of the wicked must come to an end. Surely there is an end with their arrow. Kill them all, kill them all, kill them all, kill them all. We are not taking prisoners to them. Mashagadolia, ye karabagadum, ma yigadolia, mashagadolia, reba shigadolia, ma katoliba shilia, yiga zegeteliba, ma yibagadoliba gadolia. Reba shigadoli bagadoli bagadoli. Makatoli broga yiga zeketeli bragadoli bashegedia. Yeri basatoli bragadoli bashegedia. Iba sikatoli broze zukatali bagadoli. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You did not pray aggressively enough. So we have three more prayer points. Mashagadoli bagadoli. As we pray this next one, if you have been dreaming of death, if you have been dreaming of coughing, seeing dead relatives, eating with dead people in the dream, the enemy has carried your lot to the land of the dead. Makura <laughs> bagadoli. And the enemy has been scaring you with death. Let your prayers roar like thunder and like burning fire in the wilderness. Say, every power assigned to waste my life be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Be roasted in the name of Jesus. Any power anywhere assigned to kill me, to kill my children, I command you to die. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Let that power be roasted. Yes, you shall not die but live to give the glory to God. You shall not die but live to declare the glory of God. Open your mouth and pray. Any power that is assigned death upon you, upon your children, open your mouth and kill that power. Any power that is assigned to kill you, to kill your destiny, begin to shake your head. Begin to shake your head. Your head is the symbol of your destiny. As you shake your head, as you shake your head, the arrow of death is going away. The sh shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake your head. The arrow of death is jumping out. It's getting out fast. Rekatoria, return to center. Shake your head, shake your head, shake your head, shake your head. As you pray the prayer, Makatoli braza zoko toliba. Yekere braza zaka toli brogo doliba shegele. Mashika toli bagadolia. Ma yiga zaga doliba gadolia. Mashiga rabaga dolibra gadoliba shegele. Yeku rabaga zeke teli braga doliba shegele. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You shall not die but live to give glory to God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Stretch your right now, hand out now to receive. If you are left-handed, stretch your left hand. If you are not driving, you can stretch both hands for a double portion. Father, I pray upon these hands that are stretched forth towards you now. Let the hands become hands of testimony. Hands of power and strength. Of health and prosperity. That whatsoever they touch from now on will be delivered and prosper. Let this hand become hands of glory and dominion. In the name of Jesus. Father, pure your liquid fire from heaven upon this hand. For maximum breakthrough in the name of Jesus. For maximum healing and deliverance in the name of Jesus. 
Lay thy hand upon your head now. Leave it there as I pray. O oh Lord, my Father, anyone here under the sound of my voice that is obeyed now, that is going through a hard time, Lord, in your own miraculous way, grant them deliverance now in the name of Jesus. Let their heart desire be granted by fire in the name of Jesus. Every yoke assigned against you and your loved ones, I command the yoke broken now by the reason of the anointing in the name of Jesus. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your breakthrough. Receive it. 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 Receive your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare upon your life that the favor of God shall overshadow you in the name of Jesus. Yeri bragadoli bashagadoli bagadoli. Magadoli brozezu katali bragadoli. Mayiga zegere brogodoli bashekedia. Makura braga zegedeli bragadolia. Yira braza zagado inteli bragadoli bashekedia. Receive the reign of divine favor in the name of Jesus. Receive the reign of divine favor in the name of Jesus. Magadosi andelebo. Girabo se seketelia. And I use each and every one of you as a point of contact to your loved ones. The power of God shall move in their lives to manifest breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And every dark agent, agent of darkness and wickedness, in any area of the life of your children, your spouse, your grandchildren, shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Be disgraced in the name of Jesus. You shall grow from glory to glory, from power to power, anointing to anointing, from strength to strength, from faith to faith in the name of Jesus. Your miracles shall beget miracles in the name of Jesus. From now on, your presence shall bring about testimonies, miracles, signs, and wonders, breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of financial embarrassment, I bind and cast them out in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give you creative miracles, creative ideas. The Lord will give you retentive memory. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want you to go ahead and pray for me now before we share the grace. Pray whatever you wish yourself. Wish you go ahead and pray for me. Pray for my wife and my children. Pray for the church, the body of Christ. Go ahead and pray. Just go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray now. Eh, you are not praying for me. I will report to Jesus. Open your mouth and pray for Pastor Steve. Pray, 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 pray. For the growth of the ministry, for strength, for more anointing. Aha! Now I know some of you, some of you don't love me. You are not praying for me. You are not praying for me at all. You are not praying for me. Pray for me. Pray for my wife and my children. Makatoliba, open your mouth and pray for me. For more anointing. For God to answer all my prayers. For the anointing to increase. Open your mouth and pray. Every agent of darkness and wickedness in my life. Be disgraced. Be disgraced. Be disgraced. Magadole bazazagado. Eiba shigadole bragazegede. Makura bagazeke intale. Yiga rabaga shagadole bagadole. Maliba zantole bagade. Maliba zaga doli bragade, eriba zika toli brogodolia, makura baga zeke teliba, yeriba zatoli bagadolia, mayaga zeke teliba gadolia, mahuri kataida la braga zokodolia, yika toli bragado, 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 mashagadolia. Open your mouth and pray for me. Open your mouth and pray for me. Makutali bragadolia. Yekere bongo sheketelia. Mayagadole bazazikatolia. Thank you, Lord Jesus.
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The month is coming to an end. We have four days for the month to end. Please make sure you meet up with your commitment. And support the ministry so that we can pay our bills. I trust God to bless you as you do so. And the Lord will bless you as you do in Jesus' name. If you have a PayPal account, you want to give whatever God has laid in your heart to give, you can PayPal it to paypal.me slash O-G-I-N. Paypal.me slash O-G-I-N. You can also give with PayPal, uh, Cash App, and Zilli App with the phone number 919-522-8000. Zill app, cash app, PayPal, 919-522-2112. Or you can go to the website with your credit card and debit card, oraclemiracle.org, oraclemiracle.org. You can make it a recurrent, a monthly recurrent payment, whatever you give, if it's $10 or $20 after you maintain it. You can send check or money order. Oracle of God Ministries, P.O. Box 14068. P.O. Box 14068. Raleigh, North Carolina. 27620. Or you send it to the church address, Carolina, 27609. God bless you. And I want to thank everybody for your cards and the gifts the presence, the prayers, share the grace of God in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. We love you all. Bye-bye. What a big what a beautiful name, Amen. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name, Amen.